dear uh, brothers in christ uh, so greetings uh, in the lord so last week uh, we studied about uh, three harvest okay so we'll just revise a few points and uh, we'll uh, come to today's uh, you see important uh, part of the class okay so last week we saw three harvest uh, <clears throat> can you tell me what are the three things involved in harvest first what happens in the harvest Om brother, Gopal brother. Separation, gathering, and boring. Very good. Very good. So these three things happen. Okay, good. So uh, we see that uh, you see there are uh, three ages. You see Jewish age, uh, gospel age, and the millennial age. That means the thousand year reign of Christ. Uh, now, Gopal brother, tell me. Uh, during which part of this uh, each age does the harvest take place? During which period of uh, each age does the harvest take place, Gopal brother? At the end. Very good, brother. At the end of uh, each age. Very good. Okay. Now, uh, last week we saw about, uh, you see, two harvest. That is, uh, we saw the Jewish age harvest. And we saw the gospel age harvest. So today we'll see the millennial age harvest. So before that one, we'll revise uh, about the Jewish age harvest. So about the Jewish age harvest, John the Baptist uh, tells, you see, that uh, Jesus is uh, having, uh, you see, uh, a fan, you see, in his hand. Uh, and he will, uh, you see, uh, perk the floor and uh, separate the wheat and the chaff. Okay? And he also says that uh, Jesus will come and baptize uh, with, uh, you see, uh, water and uh, uh, spirit and fire. So, isn't it? So, uh, he says that he is going to baptize with uh, uh, spirit uh, and uh, fire. Now, uh, you tell me, uh, what is the meaning of uh, baptism uh, with uh, fire? And what is the meaning of baptism with the uh, Holy Spirit? Can uh, anybody tell me? Couple brother, home brother, can you tell me? Gopal brother, can you tell me? Can you please ask the questions once again, brother? Okay, I think your voice is very low. I I'll repeat the question. Uh, sure, brother. Ah, good. Okay. Now, okay. See, uh, let us read that verse itself. Uh, Matthew 3.11. Matthew 3.11. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I. Good souls I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Ah, he shall baptize with the Holy Ghost and fire. Very good. So, what is this baptism of Holy Ghost, that means Holy Spirit, and what is this baptism of uh, fire? Are both one and the same. Home brother, is uh, baptism of fire and Holy Spirit both the, one and the same? Yes, different, different. Okay, then what is the baptism of uh, fire? What does it signify? Kopal brother. What does it signify? That baptism of fire. Okay, what does it mean? Okay. See, last time we saw uh, in this verse, John the Baptist tells about three baptism. Baptism of water, and baptism of fire and baptism of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Now, if we need to baptize in water, then what do we need to do? We need to completely immerse ourselves in water. Correct, no, brother? Yes, brother. What will happen if we completely immerse ourselves in water? Now we get wet. Get wet. Very good. So similarly, if we are uh, need to be baptized with Holy Spirit, 
we need to be filled with the spirit correct huh? if you are filled with the spirit you see uh, we show that uh, uh, character of christ correct mother yes hmm. okay jesus was filled with the spirit isn't it without measure god gave him the spirit okay so similarly if we need to be baptized in fire what does it mean what does it what does it mean we need to get burned ah we need to get uh, ourselves immersed in fire completely you see if we go into fire what will happen you see that uh, our uh, you see body will be totally burned up we will be totally you see burned up uh, dear brethren so here john the baptist uh, never meant that all these three baptisms are one and the same no if all these three were one and the same he would have told only one the reason he has told three that signifies us all three things are different then for which class of people is the baptism of spirit and for which class of people is the baptism of fire you see here john the baptist said jesus is having a fan in his hand he will purge the floor and separate the wheat and the chaff now you tell me uh home brother is it literal separation did jesus come with a literal fan and separate the wheat and the chaff no no oh, very good now tell me then what does uh, uh, wheat signify and what does uh, uh, chaff signify home brother Tell me, brother. Come, oh, brother. Okay, go, brother. Can you try to answer? Ah, uh, wheat represents true Israelites. Good. And uh, chaff represents uh, Sadducees and Pharisees. Paul. Very Samuel. good. Very good. Okay. So when Jesus came, there were actually two types of class of people. one who were outwardly you see the jews the one who were inwardly the real jews the pharisees the sadducees you see they used to pray they used to wear good robes the costly dresses you see only for a pretense sake you see only to show to the people that they are very godly isn't it you see and uh, when jesus came there were two classes of people one class of people were very sincere in heart isn't it jesus told to nathaniel no huh huh nathaniel was a true israelite indeed the real jew the real christians you see this is the real real you see godly seeking people you see dear brethren therefore these are the this became the disciples of christ you see the wait you see they are not only outwardly but inward they had that grain within them you see so inwardly when they had the grain uh, the fruit uh, you see uh, they were counted worthy before god uh, you see so these are the one class of people but other people you see they were like what uh, pharisees hmm sadducees uh, did uh, jesus uh, compare them to any of the you see outward things outward only or good inward you are nothing did jesus say any of the verses did he compare them to any of the things tell me yes okay what did he compare to a cup oh mm, cup very good home brother what did he compare to what what else did he compare to Um, brother, you are there. Yes, I am. Um, tell me, brother, what did he compare to? One was a cup. You see, only outwardly looking good, inward and all, it was not clean at all. But what what else did he compare to? 
Okay, let us read one verse, brother. Home, brother, read. Matthew 23, 27. Go on to you, scribe and scribe and Pharisees, hypotise for ye are like unto witted sepulchres, which indeed sepulchre, whited sepulchre. That means witted. grave. Okay. Uh, you can see the photo there, brother. Yes. Ah, that is the grave. Continue, brother. Continue reading the verse. Beautiful outward, but huh? are within full of dead men's bones, and if all of all uncleanness. Ah, you see, inside there is only dead bones. Outward only beautiful. So this was a condition of the Pharisees. Now you tell me, huh? Now what does the God see? Does God see our outward uh, beauty or uh, our heart? What does God see? Heart. Ah, that is important. So what was the use for the Pharisees and Sadducees? See, dressed neat, clean. You see, having good respect with everybody. What was the use? They were zero before God. And uh, you tell me, who were the people who were opposing Jesus? You see, Jesus separated the, these two people. Correct, no? That, uh, how did Jesus separate these two people? What did he use to separate the two people? Anybody? Any, who can tell? Word, word of God. Very good. So, the doctrines which Jesus spoke and the doctrines which the Pharisees spoke, were they both the same or different? <laughs> were they one the same or different? Completely different, brother. Completely different. Very good, isn't it? So it was a clash between Jesus and the, you see, the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Hmm. Many people wanted to believe, but uh, these people did not allow to believe Jesus. Why? Why did they not believe uh, Jesus, brother? Why did not not follow Jesus? Tell me, Gopal brother, why did it not follow Jesus? Though they know that this was the truth, they did not follow Jesus. Why? Because they want fame. Very good. And what did they fear? What was their fear? That they need to leave their position. Yes, they need to leave their position. Very good. Then, anything else? They want more praise, praises. Ah, then read Matthew 12:43. Matthew 12:43, brother, please. Matthew 12:43. When the unclean spirit is gone, out no, of no, no. Sorry, John 12, brother. Please forgive me. John 12, 43. Brother. Oh, brother, you're there. Uh, 42, read, brother. 42. Mm. 12, 42, brother. 42. John 12, 42. Nevertheless, among the chief rulers also many believed on him, but he, but but because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him, lest they should be put out of the synagogue. Ah. You see, they would be put out of what? Synagogue. Synagogue means what? Temple. Temple. Temple means what? Home brother, what was the temple? What they used to do in the temple, brother? Home brother. They study word. Very good. They preach the word of God. They studied the word of God. You see, it is in this temple only Jesus opened the scroll and read for the first time. Now, what would happen if they be uh, thrown out of the temple? What would, what would the people lose? Gopal brother, you have any idea? What will the people lose if they are thrown out of their uh, 
you see uh, worship place the authority very good then next english authority they can huh? i get praise from other people very good get praise from all the people next think okay i'll give you a clue now why do like we like, take an example okay now why do people go to the churches now yes. nowadays why do the people go to the churches worship to worship very good then do all people come with a true heart to worship lord or uh, uh, some people they come for uh, other things and they come for uh, blessing uh, blessings then they come for benefit do they come for benefit yes definitely yes. <laughs> benefit that is the main thing blessings and all is secondary they come for the benefits because if they come there if anything happens they will come and take care of them correct now yes correct so if they follow jesus if they went behind jesus so what would happen now nobody would come and help them then what would happen now alone they will be that was their fear that is the reason they did not follow jesus they would be cast out of the synagogues if they are cast out of the synagogues then they won't be you see uh, any facility from the synagogue from the temple you see there won't be any contribution from the temple the people will not come and uh, you see visit you the people won't come and help you correct na hmm that was their fear so what happened some people were outward chaff some people were you see the wheat the wheat listen to god's words you see and uh, when 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 were they anointed with the holy spirit home brother when was the wheat class anointed with the holy spirit when did the anointing of the holy spirit to the church happen hmm tell me over I, i didn't understand brother see the wheat class those who followed jesus correct now so these were anointed with the holy spirit what did uh, john the baptist say he will anoint with the holy spirit he will anoint with fire now he anointed the wheat class with the holy spirit he anointed the chaff class that means he poured god's wrath upon the chaff class now my question is when did god anoint this wheat class this wheat class was none than the church you see those who follow jesus correct now yes okay when when was the church anointed with holy spirit day of pentecost very good brother excellent brother so in the day of pentecost the church was anointed with the holy spirit this was the wheat you see 3000 people got converted 500 people were already you see following jesus so these were the wheat class but what happened to the chaff the pharisees and sadducees what did god pour upon them tell me what did god pour upon them fire fire what is fire judgment correct judgment is what about judgment did god come and punish them did god come and hit them yes currently uh, ah you see the destruction of jerusalem the wrath of god you see god destroyed jerusalem you see totally very good brother good so good understanding of this uh, jewish harvest now after uh, you see this one there was a gospel age harvest we studied you see now where did uh, jesus speak about the gospel age harvest where did jesus speak did jesus speak about this gospel age harvest anywhere in the bible 
Very good. Matthew 13 chapter. So what is it compared to? See, the Jewish age was compared to wheat and chaff. The gospel age, what is it compared to? What is it compared to? Home brother. Wheat and what? Uh, huh? uh, Tears. Uh, yes. Okay, brother. Tears. Uh, tell me, what is it? Tears. Okay, got it? Okay, Very good. Sorry. Okay. Now, now, who is the one who sowed the seed? Who is this one, brother? Jesus. Jesus. Very good. He sowed the seed. Okay. Now, uh, where did he sow? He sowed it in the field. Home brother, what is the meaning of field? Field is the world. Very good, brother. Is the world. So, Jesus, uh, uh, he began to sow the seed of God's word in all over the world. Now, did uh, Jesus alone sow the seed? After Jesus, who proclaimed the gospel to the, all the parts of the world? Who were they? Apostles. Very good. Apostles. Very good. So they preached the word of God to all over the world. Okay? Now, this seed was sown in all over the world. You see? When the apostles died, what happened? What happened in the night? Who came? Devil. Very good. You see? Did he literally come from heaven to sow the seed? No. Mm. So, he sent his messengers, false teachers. You see? False doctrines. They began to sow the false doctrines. You see? Now, where did they sow the false doctrines? Where it was us, where the word of God was so very good. Where already the wheat was there in that place itself, what happened? Uh, huh? Satan began to sow the you see, huh? Tears. He did not go to any other place, he went to the same field. You see, the same world where already the word of God was uh, spreading. You see, dear brethren. So, huh? what happened? Uh, the wheat field. Huh? Completely became what field? Home brother, tell me what happened to the wheat field? It became what type of field? Home brother? Um, uh, like he was a mix once I came there, right? Ah, mixed. Very good, brother. Correct. Tear. Correct, now. Tear. Correct, now, brother. Oh, brother, you got it? Yes. Ah, good. Yes. Ah, see? So, what happened? Among the true Christians, false doctrine came. And who came up? The false Christians came up. Now, you tell me. Can anybody tell me the list of the false doctrines among the churches? Do you know any of the false doctrines in the churches, brother? Not at all. Hmm. One is hell, soul. Next. Trinity. Trinity. Okay, good Friday. Brother, your voice is very low. Little bit louder. Trinity, brother. Trinity. Oh, very important doctrine, you see. Trinity. Oh. Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Three are one. Uh, why, why then the three persons are there given in the Bible? Huh? Next. Next, any other doctrine, brother? Huh? No, it is a thought, everlasting thought. Ah. Then? Mm. Tongues and miracles. Yes, tongues and miracles. You see? Speaking in tongues. I think, Gopal, brother, there's some disturbance in your headphone. Okay, good. Home, brother, can you tell some other false doctrines apart from what brother told? Is there any other false doctrines apart from what brother told? Can you name some of the false doctrines in the churches? Um, hmm. uh, yes, the, they have like 
actually the skull the tongues they speak good next and um, uh, it's about uh, three person in one good three person in one next and uh, No other doctrine. No other false doctrine at all. Yo, yo. Then the, all the churches are very good. No other doctrine. No other subject has touched your heart. Think. I'll give a clue. I'll give a clue. Okay. Okay. We take... Uh, you see, they do it in every month you know, in the churches. Breaking. What is the breaking? Yes. Last Supper. Ah, <laughs> very good. Is it correct what they're doing? No. No. Oh, brother, is it correct what they're doing? It's, it's no, not, yes. Oh, why are you speaking slowly? Why fear? Huh? You don't answer. Huh? Eh? See? Ah, breaking the bread. Then putting titles. Correct, no, brother? Can we call somebody as father, reverend? No, no brother. Uh, we are all what? Yes, we are all brothers and sisters. There is no great, no small. All are equal. Correct, no? So, he is the thousand years preached in any of the churches, brother? Home, brother? He is the thousand year doctrine spoken in any of the churches, brother? Thousand years. Is it? Hmm. About the Christ uh, rule of thousand years, the second coming of Jesus, is it spoken in any of the churches? Do they speak about second coming in the church? Um, yes. What they speak? Uh? Uh, waiting. Good. Come. Why will Jesus come? Do they speak about why Jesus is coming for the second coming? Uh, yes, they uh, like for the uh, judgment. Ah, only for judgment. But what about the resurrection of the dead? Do they speak about the resurrection of the dead? Yes, also. Ah, then will they come back? What will they come back and do in the resurrection? What will the people come back and do in the resurrection, brother? Is it spoken? Tell me, is it spoken or not? All you the dead people huh? will go for damnation, punishment. Ah, they will all come back, they stand in the queue. Judgment will happen. They will go to hell or heaven. This is what is spoken, but the no truth about a thousand years. All the dead will come back to life. On the same earth, they will live and they learn the truth. They will learn the truth. You see, on the same earth, in the same flesh, you see, all the people will learn the truth. This truth is it spoken in any of the churches? No, no, brother, definitely not. It is not at all spoken. They speak about Jesus is going to come very soon, soon, soon. Why? To judge you, to punish you. That's all. Punish the wicked. So, you tell me now, you, who are the false Christians? If you see those who listen to these doctrines, you see, these are the false Christians. These are the tares. Only outward Christians. You see, inward, what is there? Nothing is there in their heart. You see, only outward namesake Christians. Now, do we do they have Bible study in their churches? Home brother, do they have Bible studies in their churches? Yes. Yes. Very good. It is there. But uh, is it like uh, in-depth Bible study as we are having now? No. 
No. Why? Because that is the tear field. You see, in the tears, there is no truth at all. Is there truth in the churches, brother? Is there truth in the churches today? No, brother. No. Oh, brother, is there truth there in the church today? I can say like uh, explanation is like half truth, half not. Ah, very good. What do you tell? Half? Half truth and half not, not. Very good. Now you tell me, if the God's Holy Spirit is there, will it be 100% truth? Or 50% truth? It will be 100%. Very good, brother. Read John 16, 13, brother. John 16, 13. Very good. Correctly answered. John 16, 13. Read, brother. How we... When he, the spirit of the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. What truth, brother? All or fifty percent truth? Some truth? All truth. All. Now where is where is all truth is there? Huh? That is not the true work of the Holy Spirit. Fifty fifty. You know what will happen if we are fifty fifty? Read Revelation 3. Revelation 3, 15, brother. 15, 16. Home, brother, read. Revelation 3, 15 and 16. What will happen if we are 50, 50? So, has to also them that hold the doctrine of the... Oh, no, 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 no. Revelation, brother. Third chapter, brother. Third chapter, fifteen. I know thy works, that those are neither cold nor hot. Uh -huh. I would... What, brother? How is it though? Neither? Cold nor hot. That means what? Uh? Not false also. Not truth also. 50-50. Correct, no? What you told now? Half truth? Half? Ah, same condition. Very good condition now. Huh? Continue. What did Jesus say? Continue. I would the word cold or hot. So then because the art look warm and neither cold nor hot, I will speak the out of my mouth. Uh, spew means what? Spew. Spew means what? Read in Nepali Bible. Read in Nepali, brother. Come, brother, read in Nepali. Kastin Kusura. Kastin Kusura. TBS, what about the TBS? Both I will say in Nepal. Timra Kam or Ru Mozandatsu, Kinaki Timi Nota Chisu, Nota Tato Cho, Timi Chisu, Ottawa Tato, Boyka Boy, Nithu. Is it Timi not Chisu, not Tato Cho? So not a tato, Tara, Montato by Kamale, Motimila Apnumu Pata Tuki Dinetu. Ah, Tuki, so that means what? What will um, Jesus do to us? It means like he, um, like for six, the technology of the technology. Very good, correct. Yeah. Jesus will leave us. Jesus will forsake us. If we don't obey the truth, what will Jesus do? He will thu us. Thu means what? Get out. 
Jesus will leave us. You see, very, very important, uh, dear brother. We need to understand this one, the importance of the truth. Therefore, how do we find out uh, who is the wheat, who is the chaff? Uh, who is the wheat, who is the tears? Both are straight. You see, both are straight, erect. You see? But when the wind comes, the wheat will surrender. The wheat will bend. Why? Because wheat has heavy grains inside. Fruit is there. Heavy grains are there. They will bow down it. But what about the tears? Will they bend? Tears will bend or it will stand straight. It will stand straight. You can see in the photo. You see? Standing very straight. Because these are all false Christians. Those people who don't surrender themselves to the truth. That is the character. That is the sign that uh, they are tears. You see? So we should uh, obey the truth, surrender the truth or not. Should we obey the truth and surrender to the truth or not, brother? Yes, we should surrender. Yes. Come, yeah. oh, brother. Should we obey the truth and surrender to the truth? Yes. Yes. That is the character, brother. That is the character which Jesus is saying. Now, you tell me, who was the one who opposed Jesus at the first advent? Who opposed the teachings of Jesus at the first advent? The leaders. Very good. The leaders. Religious leaders, not political leaders. Yes. Pilate did not uh, oppose. Herod did not oppose. Governors did not oppose. The soldiers did not oppose. Who were the one who was opposing Jesus? Who? Religious leaders. Ah, the own religious leaders. Correct. Now, similarly, who is against this truth? The truth, what you are listening, who is against this truth? Pastors, leaders. Very good. Home brother? Who, who are against brother? The, um, the le like leaders of churches. Uh, leaders and uh, pastors are. Uh? Only leaders, what leader? Political leader, brother? What type of leaders? Leaders of churches. Very good, brother. Leaders of the churches. Why? Because if the people will listen to the truth, they will leave the churches. They will follow Jesus. You see? They will leave all this uh, denomination. If they leave, what will happen? They will lose their income. Correct? Huh? They will lose their what? Huh? Income. You see, that is the reason. You see, these people are against the truth. Now, who will come and cut this one? Jesus. How will Jesus come and cut? How will Jesus do the harvest? As a first advent, he did the harvest with a fan. Similarly, Jesus is having a sickle. Now, you tell me, how Jesus is going to separate these two people? What Jesus is going to use to separate these two class of people today? Tell me, what is the, what does the sickle represent? A word of God. Very good, brother. The word of God. Correct now, home brother. Correct now, brother. Yes. 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 yes word of God. Yes. Correct. The word of God. You see, therefore. You see, uh, this is go. what is happening now. We are living in this harvest. You see, Jesus is using the sharp truth. You see, what is he doing? He is put his sickle to Nepal. You see, he is put the sickle to Nepal and seeing who is going to listen to the truth. Who is going to listen to the truth and come out? After listening to the truth, dear brethren, he is uh, doing the harvest work. You see, so many people will be uh, listening now. You see, in the initial class, how many people will come in? More than 10 people. Correct, no? Yes, Correct, no? Uh, but today, how many are there? Huh? 
only three. Just two. <laughs> Just two or three. This is the wheat. Wheat are very little because the field is full of tears. They don't want to come and discuss the truth. Any doubts, they can come and discuss. No, they don't want to discuss. Why? Why they don't want to discuss? Because fear. What fear? They will be thrown out of the churches. Nobody will support us. You see? All this fear. Satan is the king of fear. You see? So this is the end of the gospel age harvest. Now after this, you see there is one more harvest that is going to take place in the thousand years. Okay? And that harvest is spoken to us in Matthew 25th chapter verses 31 to 41. Okay? You kindly read these verses in the home. You understand, you more, most probably you, you may be knowing everything. But we'll just go through important points. You see? Here uh, Jesus uh, says few things. Okay? Let us read only few things. Matthew 25th chapter, brother. Uh, Gopal, brother, can you try to read? Matthew 25th chapter versus uh, you see? Versus uh, thirty. Two. Only brother. Hmm. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as the shepherd divided the sheep from the goats. Ah, as the shepherd divided the sheep from the goats. Now read from verse 35, brother. For I was an for I was an hung hungered, and you gave me meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and ye come unto me. Then... Mm -hmm. You see? What did uh, there happen? I was uh, hungered. You came in... Gave me food. I was thirsty. You gave me water to drink. I was a stranger. You welcomed me in. I was in prison. I was naked. You helped me. You see? Huh? Then uh, Jesus, uh, uh, you see, asked the question. So when did uh, we do, Lord? You see, when did we do all these things, Lord? Then he says, if you do any of these things to one of the least of the people, then it is like doing to me. Because of this verse only, today, so many people, what they do? They do charity. Isn't it charity work? They do what? Jail ministry. You see, go to the jails and preach the gospel to the prisoners. And now they take the home for the aged. You see, all the orphans, they take care. Give them food. And Christmas time, what do they do? Huh? They neatly pack the old clothes and distribute them free of cost. You see? Why? Because the Bible says no. If you do to least of this, uh, it is like doing to Jesus. Uh, do it. Please do it. They encourage, no? Huh? Now, actually, this uh, scripture, when is it applicable? When does it apply? Read verse 31, brother. Read verse 31, brother. Is it applicable now or when? Hmm. When the Son of Man shall come in His glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Mm. When will this happen? When the Son of Man shall come? In his glory. Ah, that means this is applicable only at the second coming. Not at the first advent. This is applicable only when Jesus, you see, is going to come at the second advent. Of course, he has come now. But... This is applicable only when the worldly people, the general people who are dead in the world, they come back in the resurrection. You see, it is going to happen then, not now. Now, we are not supposed to do any, you see, hospitality work, charity work. Dear brethren, there is no use of doing all these activities now. Why? Because Jesus never did this thing. Did uh, Jesus give money to anybody? Tell me. Yeah. 
Tell me, did Jesus give money no. to anybody? No. Did Jesus give clothes to anybody? No. Oh, did Jesus go to prison to the preach? No. No. Did he go to the home for the age and take care of the poor and the uh, destitute ones, the homeless, the fatherless, the widows? Did he, Jesus take care of them? No, brother. No. Why? Because that was not the time. This is not the time. This is all going to happen in the thousand years, dear brethren. In the thousand years, all the dead world are going to come back to life. On the same earth, they're going to come back to life. You see, dear brethren, they're going to come back to the same earth, same world. You see, they're going to rise in the same flesh, come back on the same earth in a fleshly body. And it is then that Jesus will give them the truth. You see, therefore Jesus said, you see, what did Jesus say? Huh, read. John 10, 16. Home brother, read. John 10, 16. John 10, 16, brother. Ani Mamira Ani Mira Aru Biraruchan Jun Sai is Gorka Wainan Tini Arulai Pani Maile Lyaunu Porsa Ani Timi Tini Ali Mirusur Sunitan Ani Yute Bagal or Yute Kotala Unitan. One sheep is there, it seems. It is not of this fold, it is not of the church class. They are going to come when uh, in the resurrection, in the thousand years. Then everything shall be one, it seems to be. This is about the world. All the dead world will come back to resurrection. Then. So what will happen in the resurrection? When they come back, they have to show their good character by doing good deeds. You see? By doing good deeds. You see? The people will come back in the resurrection. How? Not uh, once for all, they will come back batch by batch. As the people are going to the grave, batch by batch, slowly, even in the resurrection, they will come back batch by batch. You see, one batch will come today, tomorrow some other batch will come. Those who are resurrected now, they need to help the persons who are coming tomorrow. They need to go and give water. What food? Huh? Food means God's words. They need to teach them the truth. Give them water means water. Water means water. Living water. You see? Huh? All these verses are there now. Matthew 4.4. 4, Matthew, you see? 25.35. Uh, Revelation 22.17. You see, dear brethren? The living water has to be drunk, dear brethren. You see, this has to be given. And uh, some people, not some, everybody will come naked. Naked means what? without wearing the cloth of Jesus, the robe of Jesus. They need to come and give the robe of righteousness. They need to tell about Jesus and cover them with the, you see, Jesus' love. They need to accept Jesus. And huh, some people will be where? In the prison. Prison means what? Death condition. Pray for them and bring back to the resurrection. You see? And huh, some people are sick. What sick? This is not little sickness. Sin sick. Some people are so much sick, they, they want to drink every day. But in a thousand years, once they come back to the earth, what won't be there? There won't be any liquor shop. There won't be any drinks. So you need to help them to come out from sick, sickness. This is the what Jesus is going to speak. Dear and this is Jesus is going to speaking about this one only. So those people who express the character of Christ in the thousand years, they will follow Jesus. You see, they will follow Jesus. You see, they will show the character of Jesus and be like Christ, dear brethren. You see, these are the sheep class. You see, but the goat class, very stubborn, it's very tough. 
they won't surrender to Jesus. Uh, you see, what will happen? Uh, you see, dear brethren, that is what is given here. The wicked people shall be going to second death. Read, brother. Matthew 25. Matthew 25, you see, 41. Read, brother. Matthew 25, 41. Hmm. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Mm, prepare for the devil and his angels. You see, prepare for what? Devil and his angels. Sir. Which fire? Everlasting fire. What is this everlasting fire, brother? Home, brother. What is this everlasting fire? Tell me, home brother, what is this fire? Second date. Very good, brother. Absolutely right. 100 out of 100 marks for me. You see? Second date. Very good. For those people, even in the resurrection, they don't learn the truth, they will go to a second death. Imagine. Eh? God has given the truth to us. Now what we should do? We should obey that one. We should follow that one. Even now also we should follow. Even in the thousand years also we should follow. If we don't follow, we will go to second death. Uh, we should be very careful. Read. What will happen to the sheep class? The good people? Matthew 25, 34. Read with them. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed are my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Okay. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Once the foundation for the world was laid initially in Garden of Eden with the two morning stars, what was the purpose? That man could rule on this earth, be the king of this earth. He can be the king of this kingdom. The same kingdom will be restored to mankind. Read it so beautifully, dear brethren. This is the three harvest. In the Jewish age harvest, the Jewish people were filtered. You see? And the gospel age harvest, the Christians are being filtered. But in the thousand years, the world of mankind will be completely filtered. Hence, in this three harvest, you see, God's ultimate purpose will be completely fulfilled. Okay? So, any doubts, any questions? You can ask. Any questions?